every character who wanted them. Grant, I still think Griswold's Edge is arguably a better sword than the Grandfather, just because of faster attack, but... Yeah, enough said. Ideally, what I want from a bow... Is I want a bow of haste for fastest attack. I probably kings for better stats on it. I just want fastest attack possible. Burning dead, don't stand a chance to my lightning arrows. Oh, trap sarcophagus. Um, well, it was trapped, but it also had a skeleton inside. The skeleton is not the trap. Religious Shrine. Mm, what was that? Oh, hidden. This is an interesting monster type. Uh, they remain hit. They remain hidden. Well, that sucked. Let's try that again. The hidden are an interesting monster type. They remain invisible. They still exist. They're just invisible uh, until they get close to you, and then they decloak. How close they have to get before the decloak depends on the rank of monster. It depends on their subclass. Hidden are the weakest, and so they decloak a few steps away. Illusion Weavers are the strongest, and they decloak basically as soon as they hit melee range with you and are attacking you. They are ferocious. See what that trap would have done. Eh, minor attack. Occasionally, you actually use traps to your advantage. Oh wow, actually. See, you can still hit them even when they're cloaked. Occasionally, you can use traps to your advantage and actually kill enemies with traps. It's pretty rare, but it does happen. Uh, generally, it happens most with like Nova traps. Plague Eaters. These are a little tougher. But because of this awesome bow, I'm actually able to do stuff. Now, I don't remember what this one does. Time count, diminished power of steel. Every piece of equipment I'm currently wearing is fully repaired. Now, that is quite helpful. Still don't have any good items. As you get deeper, the quantity of items dropped decreases, but the quality increases. As in, you'll get better items with better affixes on them and whatnot. Ooh, large shield. Don't actually care. The way that these arrows work is weird. The way line of sight works is kind of weird in this game. Because, like... I could shoot those guys even though I couldn't see them. And sometimes I will be able to see something, but I still won't be able to shoot it because there's a thing blocking projectiles, even if it wouldn't block actual sight. There's certain doodads. I think some of the torches do that down here. I don't know if these ones do. Oh, Guardian, don't really care. Sacred. Ooh, that's an interesting one. If I remember right, this fills my inventory with pithy amounts of gold that are not actually worthwhile. I think it's like, it fills it with stacks of like 20 or something. And when it fills it, I mean fills it. In case you haven't noticed, gold actually takes up inventory slots. And each gold pile caps out at, um, 5,000. There are certain things you can buy or sell. Most notably... Oh, wait, no. I don't want that. Uh, that takes away a tenth of my maximum mana, and in return gives me two levels of charge bolt. Not a good trade. Not when I'm giving up, like... 8 or 9 mana maximum for it. Yeah, anyway, gold, because your inventory caps out of 5,000, yada yada. You know the drill. It's gold. 
Uh, there are certain items, notably heavy armors, like plate tier armors, especially full plate or gothic plate, that sort of stuff. Or staffs, um, notably with like bountiful charges of a high level spell. That can cost absurd amounts of gold, like inventory full of gold. Uh, take, for instance, the classic uh, hacked and duped item, the godly plate of the whale. Generally, uh, so that's like max armor, max hit points on a full plate, generally. That, if found legitimately, would be sold by the shops for like 200,000 or more. And probably could be resold, because you resell at a quarter of the price, for like, you know, 50, 60, thousand. Yeah, that's basically an entirely full inventory in order to buy that. I don't know if the shop can even possibly carry that. I think there is a unique hidden here. Oh shoot, I just leveled up. I wanted to go back. I meant to go back to the store before I leveled up. Uh, I hope that ring's still there. Uh, die, please. Thank you for the dagger. It's probably worth nothing. And here's King Leoric's tomb. Now uh, let's go back to town. Uh, talk to some people. Level up my strength, because... Oh! Oh, yeah. I've reached cap strength. I forgot that my that the road cap is 55. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and Bow of many. Tin bow of many. Yeah, that's gonna balance out. That's what I meant when I said Whoa, what can I do negative affixes. Of many still overcame that, but good, it's still here, and I am 49 gold away from buying it. Ooh, that's actually not that bad. Um, I can get that and sell some of these random scrolls and whatnot. Buy that bow. Not the bow, the ring. And that ring, uh, that 20 strength, they're like, oh, you know, 20 strength, it's, it's decent, but, you know, who needs 20 strength? But my cap is 55. I, sense a soul I need all the help I can get. Um, Skull Guardian, I don't need that. Those scrolls are at least useful one offs. Actually, Golem's probably going to suck. Stone Curse would be nice. It's always a nice panic button. Don't need mana, because I don't really use mana. Any books that I might want, though? No. Don't really want these staffs. I should have enough. Let's get a scroll of town portal. And move out. And sometimes it's worth selling your current equipment just to get a better item. Particularly if you're a rogue and there's an awesome bow that you want. Like, I would say it's probably worth selling literally everything Whoa, you own. What can I do for you? Just to afford a good bow. Yeah, Night Sword. It's actually pretty good. So like this. Now my stats actually look like a decently tier character. Decent mid-tier character. What ails you, my friend? I receive healing from you. I don't know if this is going to be enough potions. That's what I got. Master, I have a strange experience to relate. I know Please that you tell have me. great knowledge of those monstrosities that inhabit the labyrinth. Yes. And this is something that I cannot understand for the very life of me. Okay. I was awakened during the night by a scraping sound just outside of my tavern. When I looked out from my bedroom, I saw the shapes of small demon-like creatures in the inn yard. After a short time, they ran off, but not before stealing the sign to my inn. I don't know why the demons would steal my sign, but leave my family in peace. It is strange, no? 
Yep, they stole a sign. Why did they steal a sign? Only time will tell. Or maybe there are some demons who will tell us. Ogden sign is an interesting quest. The it's actually the of life has entered my tomb. Prepare yourself, mortal, to serve my master for eternity. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, uh, Ogden sign is one of the few, maybe the only, truly, like diverging paths quests in the game. That I means you can actually complete it a couple different ways. Oh. I do not like archers. You're doing what I'm doing, but better. The warmth of life has yeah. entered my tomb. Prepare yourself for And because they're skeletons. My master for eternity. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit there. They're just gonna kinda sit there. Some of these angles are hitting things. Don't remember which ones. Does the skeletons actually start seeing you based on if you're in the light? That's a cool effect if that's the case. So these gates open based on different switches that you hit, so it's nice to kind of clear stuff out a little bit beforehand. The Skeleton King himself didn't spawn unless you hit all the switches. Well, in multiplayer, this is not the case at all. In multiplayer, he's just waiting for you on level 3. <laughs> because in multiplayer, they decided not to have any uh, pre-generated rooms, make everything totally random. And so, yeah, literally everything that's in multiplayer um, is randomized, so there's no pre-generated stuff. Like, you will always get the Butcher and the Skeleton King in multiplayer. Ow, he just hit me twice. Just because you always get the two doesn't mean they're the full experience of the quest. Because the full experience of the quest is only really had in single player. These always give... I guess these ones are only two items, but they're always good items. Hundred and eleven percent accuracy. I think that's decent. Uh, time to find out. Are you? Where the heck are you? Oh, I heard him. I hit him. Where is he? There he is. The skeleton king will just kind of stand there, summon things, or he'll charge up and just strike you in the face. Or I'm an idiot and die. Prepare your healing to serve my master for eternity. Shut up, Leoric. I want to serve you. Serve you kind of flatter. That's what I want to do with you. Okay. Hello, Thing to my ID. friend. Stay a while Cape. and listen. Decent buckler. Decent. Well, what can I do Too for bad. you? Too bad I'm not using either one. Okay, what Peppin. ails you, my friend? Uh, give me some of that. I think that should be good. Should be decent, at least. I really don't want to walk all the way over there just to pick up a scroll of town portal, so I'm just going to hope that something in here will drop one. The oh. warmth of life has entered my tomb. Shut Prepare up. yourself, mortal, to serve my master for eternity. <laughs> I don't care. Where's that arrow even coming from? I don't even see it. 
Oh yeah, because he's hitting a pillar in front of him. Yeah, those archers are always there, as are these skeletons on the left side. And then everything else yeah, comes from good old Leo up there. It's also because even though these bosses exist and have stats for higher difficulties, they weren't exactly meant to be fought in single player, like in their layers at these higher difficulties. Things are a bit different. A bit different. Ow. Stop it. Some resistance to some immunities. I think he's resistant to both fire and lightning and immune to magic. I don't know what immune to magic really, like why all undead are immune to magic, they just kind of are. Because, like, oh, so many horrors as well? That sucks. Yeah, the thing about magic immunity, it really only affects two spells. And they're the spells in the game which one would think are the best spells. Because they even cost hit points to use. Um, Bone Spirit and Blood Star. Bone Spirit deals percent damage. Blood Star deals. I forget what the calculation is on Blood Star, but it deals like flat damage. It doesn't have any variance, minimum to maximum, it just deals what it deals. Could you not? We're doing this, aren't we? Hey! The things he's summoning are actually dropping things. Theoretically, you can just farm the Skeleton King forever. Theoretically. In practice, it's a bit different from that. Stop. Die, please. Uh, that was all my hit points in a single hit. So I have to stretch my hand out. To serve my master for eternity. <laughs> I'm having to constantly pivot whether my hand is going to pressing the switch button or not. Shift, not switch. What am I talking about? Yeah, you know, the shift key is what locks you in place. So you can like stand in place and fire while someone's running literal circles around you. And as you can tell, that's an important key for the rogue. And so, in order to do that, and then also have my fingers free from the potion hotbar, I have to constantly be uh, have my pinky over the shift key. Would you die, please? Have I even hit you more than, like, three times? Apparently that was a hit. Didn't feel like a hit. Oh, I would have been good for, like, level 10 Holy Bolt right now. Yeah, this is entered my doing great. Prepare yourself, mortal, to serve my master for eternity. You know, <laughs> do I really care about the crown? I don't. The crown's a trash item, anyway. Like I said, it's decent for an early game warrior, and that's about it. I can't do that. Has entered my tomb. Prepare yourself, mortal, to serve my master for eternity. Stop running freaking circles. Jeez. The warmth of life has entered my tomb. Prepare yourself, mortal, to serve my master for eternity. <laughs> oh my, he actually dropped a magical longbow. What? 
stop this. Freaking the orc, you're more annoying than vipers. Ugh, vipers. Yeah, you can tell my lightning does nothing. Because I'm not a leveled sorcerer. Life has entered my tomb. Screw you. I'm running past you for the actual treasure. My master for eternity. <laughs> I'm gonna see how this goes. Probably poorly. So you knock down the crucified skeletons. The warmth of life has entered my tomb. Prepare yourself. Oh, wow, now you're aggro. Okay, sure. Master for eternity. <laughs> One of the few things in the game that is truly random. Like, that isn't rolled from minute one. Or should I say second one? Are the summons from the Skeleton King. So as you can see, they are actual monsters with actual drops. And the game can't plan for these drops in its logic, so you just kind of have to roll with it. Perfect. Trapped him in an archway. He can't move sideways, so he just wants to summon. Get out of the way of the archer. The warmth of life has entered my tomb. Darn it. I have a really good shit streak going on him. To serve my master for eternity, the warmth of life has Stop entered Stop it! Tomb. Prepare yourself for it. To serve my master for good eternity. Good hits, good hits, good hits. Some good hits there. Okay. Let's save those. Maybe we can work with them. Oh wow, he just stood there. Menacingly. Can't let you do that. Die, please. Thank you. Good, level up. These things also give experience, I guess. Yeah, because he has armor, I am actually missing a lot of my attacks. Because he has a buffed armor class. Who knew? I've switched over and I'm using my thumb on the shift key because. Yeah, that's. Some... I think he's getting tired. Uh, could you stop? Can you just hold still for a second? Two seconds, please. I hate the freaking strafing. The melee strafing AI is the most annoying thing in this game. Because it's good at what it does. That's the problem. What it's supposed to do is dodge all your attacks while closing the distance. And it's surprisingly effective. Maybe that's more just on the auto-aim and the strict angles that everything has to follow. This crap works. Why does it work? Why does it work as well as it does? It shouldn't work as well as it does. Uh, nope. The warmth of that was death. Entered my tomb. Prepare yourself, mortal, to serve my master. That was death. <laughs> and I avoided it. should be firing at the skeleton that he raises if it's an archer. Otherwise it can hit me and I'm just dead. <gasps> no, maybe? No. The warmth of life has entered my tomb. No, such luck. To serve my master for eternity. Yes, burning dead. No more horror archers. Uh, that's exactly what I didn't want to do something. Thank you. Thank you for listening. My bow's gonna break before I kill this guy, isn't it? Because every time I shoot, it 
fucking rolls on the reduction of durability table or, or whatever, it, however they handle it. We just have three archers in a freaking row! Once again! Uh, screw this. This crap isn't worth it. Prepare yourself, mortal, to serve my master for eternity. <laughs> I hate it so much. Hate so much. You know what? Give me some invite. Give me some Vita. That's down, so what I need is up. Because guess who has to walk because they were too lazy to buy town portals? <laughs> this guy. What time is it anyway? I've literally been fighting this guy for 15 minutes now. It's wonderful. Oh, this is in the right way. Because this auto map is... Actually, it's a fantastic auto map. I just happen to be a little confused by it sometimes. The way the map just, gener just generates over top of you was a brilliant idea that I don't know if anyone else really had. Oh wow, there's 300 gold sitting there. Yeah, like, before or since, like, okay, who else does an auto-map like this that's actually legible? I don't know if anyone does. Like, this is strictly, like, part of what Diablo is, to me, is this auto-map. And I think about it, just the overlay map that just, you just put it down, right over top of everything, centered around where your character is, and moving with your character. Pepin. What ails you, my friend? I'm gonna need a lot of these. That's probably enough. Maybe. Hello, my friend. Uh, what's this cap? Oh, listen. great! I just wasted ninety-nine oh, gold. What can I do for you? More if you count the caps like five regular sell price. I guess who's gonna be going to try and get some freaking? No. I should have put points into magic. I know what I'm able to use the stone curse scroll. I sense a soul in search of answers. Any books that I want. Holy bolts. Do I actually care about holy bolts? Not really. It would be nice, but it comes out too slow to be reasonable. For a sorcerer, it's great, but. Let me just stock up on town portals. Let's drop a thousand on town portals. Let's drop all the portals, all, all the scrolls by where the portal comes out. So we're holding on to one. The items in town don't disappear. Speaking of which. Actually, ah, you know what? I'll keep that. Yeah, and back down the dungeon we go. And we're back. This time I am so ready. The warmth of life has entered my tomb. Prepare yourself, mortal. To serve my master for eternity. <laughs> Just watch him instantly die. But for like no reason. Just somehow I just kill him. Is that a I 
thought that was gold for a second. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell what's unique and what's not. Reorient myself. <gasps> oh, that was too close. working. I made a mistake. Misclick didn't hit the right key. Yourself, mortal, to serve my master so I slide it all the left. <laughs> I really want faster attack speed. Really want faster hit recovery too. That would be helpful. Die, please. Die, please. You don't know how much happier I would be if this Skeleton King would just go away. the movement up there of the torch and I thought it was another skeleton. I'm starting to get worried. Okay. What have we here? Standing still? Okay, just summoning AI. Cool. Nope. I don't want that. So just getting hit multiple times by each arrow's lightning effect? Might have been. Yes. He died and then I died! No! I hit the button for the potion too! What the freak? Screw that. I, I, I disagree with what just occurred. Fundamental level. Like, he swung, and then half a second later I was hit. This is single player, there's not supposed to be lag. Like if I'm firing directly when he's standing there, I can't hit him, but if I'm firing manually, I can. Scroll a fireball that can't use. Not gonna be much help anyway. Just drink the potion. Drink the freaking potion! Three of these guys? Yeah, that was a lost cause. Prepare yourself not going well. Screw it. Restock time. I'm just wondering if it could be more... Oh, that's why. The of life has entered my How long has that guy been down there? Prepare yourself, mortal, to serve my master for eternity. <laughs> long enough, apparently. That's what killed me last time. What is hitting me now? Who the heck knows? Darn it! I quit! I quit the game! <laughs> Didn't mean to do that! Oh, shoot. Uh, here, let me just get this back up. I'm starving, but I can't eat until... Can't eat until I get this set up. I finish this. I need to finish what I started. I'm so freaking close. The warmth of life has entered my tomb. Prepare yourself, mortal, to serve my master for eternity. <laughs> oh, lightning. Okay. 
Sure. Just keep, just keep paying me. Potion? I was wondering if it'd be better to drop my potions on the ground, restock from there. Nope. Enough with the freaking horror bows. Do not like that. Yeah, I think it might be easier for me if I just did that and then pick up the potions later. Then they automatically refill to the left of my hot bar. He wants him up close because at least then he's not strafing. Do I think it's a smart way of killing him? No. Is the way I might have to? Uh, maybe. There we go. Restocking potions. Really wish there was a shift command for that. Diablo 2 had the right idea. Uh, am I seriously gonna run out of potions again? I killed this guy before! Why do I need to run out of potions again? This guy should be dead. The light this. has entered my tomb. Prepare yourself, mortal, to serve my master. The horror for bow eternity. back there is <laughs> doing far too much damage to me. The warmth of life has entered my tomb. Prepare yourself, mortal, to serve my master for eternity. <laughs> there we go, now he's dead. What a job, I don't freaking know. The warmth of life has entered my tomb. Prepare yourself, mortal, to serve my master for eternity. <laughs> hey. Scroll of Apocalypse? Yeah, this guy has like four horsemen or something. The warmth of life oh, I have has scroll entered now. my tomb. And I've given him time to set up. To serve my master for eternity. <laughs> I'm hitting him. He's not moving. Not moving. And now he's moving. I'm hitting him though. You notice the very small changes in trajectory that allow me to hit him when I'm manually aiming. But when I'm using the auto aim, it doesn't work. Saving right there because I just dealt a lot of freaking damage to him and I don't want that progress lost. Rest well, Leoric. I'll find Good, your he's son. freaking dead. Did it! Yes, triumph! Triumph, and this is why I did this now instead of just leveling up and going backwards. Because I want to feel like I've done a thing, man. There's also all this gold here now that I've earned. You know, theoretically I could have just kept him alive and just farmed him endlessly, but there was the fun in that. Elixir of Vitality. Cool. Oh, there's a normal potion that I picked up. Nope. Found an elixir. Rather, these things generate an elixir. Uh, and now we pick up the pieces. All the gold pieces, at least. Crucified skeletons normally have to go up and interact with them, but nope. If you have a ranged weapon, you can literally just shoot them down. It's actually pretty cool. You have to hit shift, though, to do that, otherwise it won't actually shoot it. It'll just miss. Yeah, that's why sometimes you come around and it's like, oh, there's no skeleton here. That's because you killed it already. These rooms are full of enemies. 
Not one of them dropped actually decent armor or anything. Oh, let's wait. I keep having to double check. Even though I know it looks very different. Gothic plate. Ooh, nice. That's worth some money. Sticking with some money. All I these treasure the chests, if I remember right, are guaranteed to have positive affix items. I don't know if they're guaranteed. I know the ones in the Chamber of Bone are guaranteed. I don't remember if these ones are guaranteed. Cloak, robe, axe. I can't carry any more. Staff of Holy Bolt. Who knows? Um. I mean, let's find out. Cloak of the Mind. Robe of Might. And anyway, while I'm doing this, I might as well show you life stealing. That's it. That's all that's on there. Steel Axe of Zest. It's actually worth a decent amount of money. Place it in the right square, please. Fine sap, a holy bolt. Don't care. Like, this is all worth money. But that's really all it is. I'm not really going to be using any of it. Like, I might keep the cloak just for the sake of it being reading glasses. But that's about it, honestly. Odds are I'm not going to use it, so why bother? I'm just going to empty this out this tomb, and then I think that'll be it for the day, because I'm hungry. Yeah, it really helps, turns out. Uh, when you actually hit the key that the potion is bound to, instead of the one next to it. Yep, and all the skeletons opens up this little room over here. Which is another hidden secret treasure room. starting to get a raspy throat too. So I think this is a good place to call it. Um, and yeah, now we have the problem of skeleton archers. They never move. Never do they move. And whereas, you know, normally that's fine, I can kind of leave them. Unfortunately, they're guarding a place I want to be. Book of Fire. Yes. What were the two spells I wanted? What were the two spells I wanted? One of them was Firewall. Requires 21 mana. Okay, I have a good four casts of it per, per full charge. And a small shield, which I am never going to use. And it still takes up six squares for some reason. Honestly, the gothic plate's probably going to be worth more. Let's just go back to town. Let's just take a trip. Take a trip back to town. The curse of our king is past. But I fear that it was only part of a greater evil at work. Mm -hmm. However, we may yet be saved from the darkness that consumes our land. For your victory is a good omen. May light guide you on your way, good master. May light guide you on your way, good master. Hello, my friend. Stay oh, I know all this listen. stuff is good. Well, what can I do for you? Hope of my don't care. Steelex of Zest, worth money. Undead Crown, worth money. It matters. Home of Sorcery. Sure. It's behind that. Sword of the Ages. Don't care. Home of Sorcery, better than Home of Brilliance. This thing's reading glasses for books, so I'm just gonna leave it here. 
Well, oh, brilliant. What can so I do can for you? sell right now. And repair this bow. 16 out of 35. Oh, wait, no, that was my armor. The bow was like 18 or 19. What ails you, my friend? Yeah. Just fill my belt. That'll be it. And I might collect the other treasure and do that stuff off screen. Anyway, this has been at least one part, probably two or three. Depends on how I cut it. I'm gonna be experimenting with cutting parts up a little bit more this time around. See how that goes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and this is Miss Rosanna signing out. See you next time, everybody. <laughs>